We all had that one player who inspired you. He brought your love for the game. You watched his highlights. Wherever he went, you went. And that for me is Lionel Messi. When he was at Barcelona, I watched him and dragged my family there. When he was at PSG, I went to Paris and watched his best moment. Even for Argentina, the Finalisma, the World Cup, I was there. And if you know me, I love that guy and I will defend him no matter what. So today, I'm gonna fly over the Atlantic, the first time from Great Britain to USA to watch Lionel Messi's debut for Inter Miami. We're gonna see what the MLS fans are like, how the city of Miami is taking the Messi deal, all from a British football fan perspective. Yes, it's football, not soccer. But first, a nine hour 35 flight and we're going with Norse Atlantic Airways they don't even serve food on the flight. So here's the itinerary. Train to London Gatwick. At the airport, we're going to stock up on food and drink in the lounge. Then from the lounge to the gate, board the flight, and then a long way to go. It's all for the GOAT, Lionel Messi. Let's go to Miami. Bye, Foxes. I'm off to Miami. You're mental. You'd do anything for Messi. I will. It's got to be done. See you later. I booked my flight to Fort Lauderdale, which is right next to Miami. All the flights direct to Miami from London were like 1.3k. I checked the flights to Fort Lauderdale and it was about 750. I'm gonna have to get a taxi when I land, so we'll see how much that is. My flight leaves in 40 minutes. My first time in the USA, my second time flying over the Atlantic. That's a pretty cool feeling, and it's all thanks to you guys. So smash the like button. By the way, we're gonna be doing some Amazon gift card giveaways throughout the video. So look out for some codes, keep your eyes peeled. Little pit stop, we're halfway through the flight, we're crossing the Atlantic, I'm not sleeping. I've got to cover the jet lag, but it's time for a little giveaway. Bang, there you go. That's why you need notifications on the channel. Touchdown in Fort Lauderdale. This place is crazy already. It's past midnight in English times and six o'clock here. So my mind is going crazy. <laughs> we were chasing the sunlight because right now back in England, it's completely pitch black. As we were landing in, I swear it looked like Milton Keynes. US is just one big Milton Keynes. Funny thing was, I spent most of the flight watching Ted Lasso. You know, that's how a US guy is perceived in England. And now I've come to the US as an English guy to see how I'll be perceived. Madness, so coincidental. I'm trying to find my Uber. And there's cars with no number plates. America has got so advanced, they no longer need number plates. This place is already making me go completely crazy. Just pulled up to the hotel. We're on the 18th floor. We're about to check out the room. Look how cool this lift is. This place is mad. I've got my, I brought my Tesco bag to Miami. Check out the view on the 18th floor. We have truly made it to Miami. We're slap bang in the middle of downtown Miami too, so I'm so excited. Let's check out the room. Oh my, that's my room. Wait, there's a sofa. I've got an oven, a kitchen. I've got a balcony. What's going on? And this is the room. Oh my days, let's check out the view. Oh my goodness me. Welcome to Miami for the messy debut. This is something special. Big up Gabriel from Nelk. He's the one who sorted it out with the hotel. He, that guy, when, when I come to the US, he just looks after us. I met the Nelk boys out in Croatia last year. They were actually gonna come for the messy debut, but they, they bottled it last second, but I was still able to get the hotel room. Subscribe to Nelk just for that reason. And here's another giveaway code, bang. Go into it. I guess when you do Miami, you've got to do it properly. This room is probably the most expensive room I've ever stayed in, but when you're in the USA for the first time, you've got to enjoy it. So what's the itinerary for this vlog today? Well, it's currently about 3 a.m. on English time. So I'm gonna get some sleep, hopefully wake up for a US normal time, not get too jet lagged. We're gonna go to the messy mural tomorrow morning. We might even give away a ticket. And if you've seen the links like here, here and here, they're not that cheap. I'll be honest, this is probably one of the most expensive videos I've ever made. But when in the USA, we gotta go Mr. Beast star, we gotta go big. We're giving away one of the most expensive tickets I've ever bought on the channel tomorrow. Stay tuned. For the first time ever, I can say I was born in the USA. Good morning, it's 7 a.m. here, but midday in England. I feel like I'm wasting the day, but I'm the first one up here. I feel like all English people in America must be up super early because of this. First, get some breakfast, maybe do a little gym session. Then we're giving away a ticket to someone with ball knowledge. Hopefully, someone out here in Miami will understand football. It's not quite the mate, but who wants quaffy? Mmm. Eight out of 10, that, lovely. Right, let's check out the pool of this hotel. Oh wow, now this is unbelievable. 
Miami is just different gravy. We may have to go for a swim very soon. It's over 30 degrees from the moment you wake up all the way into the middle of the night. Like it just doesn't change. The humidity here is crazy, but I'm loving it. That coffee has fired me up. Now we've hit the streets of downtown Brickle here. Unbelievable, the sun is rising. It feels like the afternoon in my English head. The jet lag is still getting to me, but first we've got to find an American diner. A bit of a greasy brunch. I've heard the portion sizes are absolutely crazy. Let's check it out. Look at the view here in Miami. Gorgeous stuff here. The sun is rising behind me. It's like 9 a.m., but it feels like afternoon for the English mind. This is the reason we bought in a nine hour flight to get here on all the billboards around Brickle. Well, the sirens are much nicer listening to in London than here. Just a bit ferocious, isn't it? A bit over the top. When the roads are closed off and it's, everything's in a straight line. This is why I gave it the Milton Keynes comparison. In England, you'll build around what was there before. Here, they'll build new buildings and make everything in lines. Even in Miami, which is meant to be a bit more of a mess. I'll take back the Milton Keynes comment, but you know where I'm coming from. That was the breakfast of champions. If Messi had that every morning, he's back in at least two contributions per game in the MLS. First experience, brilliant. They mix the sweet and savory so good in their breakfast. I don't think I'll be eating till dinner. Now let's go to the mural. Welcome to Wynwood. We've come here for the Messi mural. Tomorrow is football heritage as Lionel Messi is going to play his first game for Inter Miami. Shocking the MLS League, making his entry here. I think he's going to smash it. He's going to feel at home. He's already been shopping in all the average shops, been spotted. And now they've made this incredible artwork on the side of a building here on Wynwood 28th Street. You just have to come see it in person. The detail is spectacular. You know how much I love this guy. So this is the perfect time. We're going to do another little Amazon gift card giveaway. Bang, there we go. We had to, look how special this is. Wynwood is great, it's a different kind of area to Brickle. I'm just seeing all of Miami, loving it. Been on holiday, been to Brazil, on the way back to England, stop off in Miami. Love that, that's a proper tour. You find the English everywhere. Now tell me, are you Ronaldo or Messi? Big Ronaldo fan. I'm gonna go 2 0 into Miami, no Messi goal. Typical Ronaldo fan. You happy that Messi's come to Miami? Of course. He's the man, isn't he? Oh, yeah. 10 times bigger than LeBron. From the US, but you're wearing the England shirt? Yeah, I'm right this from England. We've got three questions. If you get all three, you can go to the match tomorrow. Okay. All right. How many Ballon d'Ors? Ballon d'Ors is the best player of the year, right? How many does he have? Six, seven, or eight? Shit, I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna go with seven. How many Ballon d'Ors has Lionel Messi won? Seven. What was the club Messi played for in Argentina? Was it Newell Old Boys, River, or Boca? No. River. River. Yeah. yeah. What position are Inter Miami in the table? Out of 15 clubs. Bottom of the league. Oh, they're, they're the bottom. I can announce, right? Right. You've got two out of three questions right. Uh, the only one you got wrong was the Argentinian team he played for was Newell Old Boys. You got ball knowledge, man. How many Ballon d'Ors has Lionel Messi won? Seven. Okay, where did Lionel Messi? Rosario. Rosario is his city. River, Boca, or which one? Newell Old Boys is the team in Rosario. Yeah, the third one. That's, that's your answer, yeah? Correct. And the final question, where is Inter Miami in the table? Yeah. His team, which is into Miami. Last, so all the way at the bottom, puppy. Tony, you've got all the answers correct, mate. I'm gonna give you the ticket to, to go watch Messi's debut. Thank you. This is gonna be yours, my friend. Leagues Cup, into Miami, Cruz Azul. So into Miami is your team, yeah? Yeah, correct. Uh, okay. Of course. I got it. You should receive it. You got it? Into Miami, Cruz Azul. Wow. Well done, that's what you get for having ball knowledge. Thank you. How do you feel? It's a dream. You said it was a dream. Yeah, of yeah? course. Gotta see the man play. We've just given our ticket. That was, that was pretty awesome. I was struggling to find somebody who actually, I thought would get all three questions right. Here we are inside Wynwood. Just outside the Messi mural is a classic football shirts pop-up store. We don't want to see any more PSG. We want to get rid of this. This one's to get out. They've got the beautiful shirt with Messi on the back. This is the Russia World Cup year, I believe. And that's how we're going to end the video. Smash the like button. A Messi debut ticket against Cruz Azul tomorrow, given away. We're going to be there. See you in a bit. Bye-bye.